So good morning. I'm actually shooting this video here before I've had my morning coffee. <laughs> As, uh, well, I wanted to get this video of coffee. So if I, uh, if I seem a little tired, that's why. So I know a lot of people like to uh, start their morning routines with a good cup of coffee. And when I first started solo camping, I had to come up with a decision what I wanted to do uh, for co making coffee. And then I remembered something. Uh, we had a uh, coffee maker sitting up in the attic that was just for camping. And it's a little bit overkill for what I needed, but it was free and it works well. And I happen to like drip coffee makers. So this is what I use for coffee. Yes, it's a real drip coffee maker. Glass pot and everything. Put the water in. Put the filter basket in. Made by Coleman. And uh, we've had it for quite a few years. I'm not even sure if they even make this one anymore. They have a newer version now that has a built-in uh, propane heater. But this one actually sits on top of a stove. Now it was designed to go on top of one of the Coleman propane stoves, but I found it fit very perfectly on top of the Coleman butane stove. And you know, it's been working well for me. So let me show you how I make my morning coffee with it. Now over here I call this my bin of coffee. It's a little wet this morning, but luckily it should be dry inside. But in here, I got the box the coffee maker came in, which has definitely seen better days, but at least it's protected in here. I got my coffee filters. I got my coffee in a hermetically sealed jar. And I've got my sugar also in a hermetically sealed jar. So it seems to work well. Now I got two different sized coffee filters. If I have a group of people there, I'll use these full 12 cup ones. But most of the time, I got these little 4 cup ones that I recently acquired. Sorry about the poor lighting. It's kind of a foggy morning today, so it's kind of dark out here. Even though it's after 9 in the morning, yeah, I slept kind of late today. But. Alright, so I'll show you the coffee filter set up here. It's just a traditional coffee filter. And this is the 4 cup one, not the uh, 12 cup. We just seem to have had an abundant supply of these left over. I accidentally bought a package of these for the home coffee maker, and obviously they're too small for that. But it fits in there nicely. It's not designed for four cup filters, but I'm only making four cups, so it works out well. So I got my dedicated uh, coffee scoop that's just for this purpose. It's actually a nice little measuring scoop, too, but right now I just use it for coffee. Sits inside of a little Ziploc bag inside the bin of coffee and just rides with the coffee maker. And I put my four scoops in here. Just like that. Normally I would just leave this mounted on the coffee maker, but I wanted to be able to get this on camera properly. See, it fits in nicely, just four, four scoops because I'm only making four cups. Goes back on like that. It's like a traditional home coffee maker. I got four cups of water in the coffee pot. Again, it's like a traditional home coffee maker. Goes right up in the reservoir. Turn the heat on. And now we wait. Okay, the coffee is just about finished, so we're going to shut the heat off now. What's in there now is just what's inside the filter basket that's dripping through. And this is a Got one of those switches in the thing so I can take it out without uh, having it to stop brewing because it will stop dripping out on its own. It's got a little valve. And then just pour it in my favorite Yeti coffee cup. That's just insulated and keep the coffee warm for the whole cup. You can see the last uh, bit is dripping in there. We're just about there. 
Now I can for this I can do uh, my normal coffee setup. Add my milk, add my sugar, put my cover on. I won't show you how I put much milk and sugar I put in there because if I have any diabetics watching, I might cause them to go into a coma. All right, so the coffee's pretty well finished now. So here's the next conundrum. Uh, unlike a uh, traditional drip coffee maker, I can't leave the heat on because it would actually damage the coffee maker. It's not designed for it. You have to shut the heat off once it's done brewing. So if I leave the coffee in the pot like this, it's going to get cold. So what do I do with the coffee to prevent that? That's where the thermos comes in. Do I have a... Oops, my spoon's about to fall on the ground here. There we go. So I have this old thermos. And I'll just take the last cup of coffee here and I'll pour it in there. And now I've got myself a uh, warm cup of coffee for later. No, it won't taste as good because it's been sitting in the thermos for a couple hours, but it'll still taste good. And it gives me a second cup of coffee. So that's it. That's how I make my morning coffee when I'm out camping. Uh, it's basically almost just like the coffee at home. Drip coffee maker and everything. Just I use a butane stove. And if it's colder weather there and the butane doesn't work so well when it starts getting closer to the freezing point, then I'll have to pull out the propane stove for it. But it works. And uh, this will be making the transition to the new van uh, setup that I'll be doing too. In fact, I'll be able to use it inside the van once I'm ready. Once I have everything built up that way and it's safe to do so. But in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, remember I've got like to do these little help and how-to videos, how I do things, show how, what I do. So if you want to see more of it, remember to subscribe. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching and remember to slow down and enjoy life and coffee. Mm. That's good. Talk to you guys later.